In the world of organized crime, it's not just about walking the walk, you gotta know how to talk the talk too. As you enter your career into the modern mob, Infographics has your back with this guide to Mafia Slang and Customs. The Kiss of Death What could be more infamous than The Kiss of Death? Made famous by the 1974 film The Godfather Part II, The Kiss of Death became an instant icon of mob culture. There's just one problem with it. Nobody's even sure if it was ever for real before Hollywood made it popular. Just to the best of our knowledge, the kiss of death might stem from the kiss that Judas gave to Jesus on the night of his betrayal in order to signal to the Jewish authorities that the planned arrest of Jesus could take place. With deeply religious roots, it's not a stretch to imagine the idea of Judas' deadly kiss being turned into a mob ritual. But nobody's really sure if the kiss of death was ever a thing, and if it was, it's theorized that the kiss may actually have been given to the assassin, not the victim in order to mark the occasion and wish success. In this form, we know the kiss goes back to at least the 19th century. Mafiosos may have been using the kiss of death for the way The Godfather popularized it for at least a while before the film came out though. In the 1960s, Giovalacci believed that he had been marked for death by Vito Genovese through the receipt of said kiss. This led Valacci to bludgeon another inmate to death because he thought the inmate was an assassin. Whether it was used as intended before The Godfather made it popular or if the mob appropriated it from Hollywood or other stories, today the kiss of death is widely recognized as a kiss which seals its victim's fate. Initiation Rituals It seems like every organized crime syndicate has its own initiation ritual, a solemn affair meant to promote unity and even a sense of family family amongst the crooks involved. The Mafia is no different, but their rituals tend to take a more religious tone, which is really weird when you think about it. A popular mob initiation ritual in the older days involved pricking the finger of the man about to be sworn into the family. Then their blood would be rubbed on a picture of a saint, and an oath of silence would be recited by the mafioso-to-be. The oath was a binding promise to never reveal the inner workings of the Mafia to anybody, especially not law enforcement. The blood-stained photo of the saint would then be set on fire and the oath taker would vow that if he ever betrayed his new family, his flesh would burn like the saint whose picture was on fire. Given the number of mafiosos who immediately turned informants when facing a decade or more in prison, we can't say the oath was particularly effective. What a saint has to do with sanctioning mafia activity though, we also can't answer. But we're pretty sure Jesus himself would have been against the whole organized crime thing. Nowadays, the ritual's rarely ever used, and it's largely seen as a relic of the past. Perhaps it was simply dropped altogether, seeing how many mafiosos have turned informants over the last six decades without catching on fire. That's not to say religious rituals don't still take place, as evidenced by an Italian undercover video which filmed a secret ritual in 2014. Alright, now let's take a look at the Mafia glossary for new slang you'll need to quickly learn and your exciting new life as a prison inmate to be. Administration This is the head honchos, the upper rung of the Mafia corporate ladder. It includes the bosses, the underbosses, and the consigliere, or family advisor. Associate One step below a made man. An associate is a longtime partner in crime that can be trusted and counted on. Associates are typically turned to made men in time. Associates can be referred to as a connected guy hinting at well-placed criminal connections which could be useful to an operation. The Books A term used to describe the current membership status in a family. You can't have too many chiefs and not enough Indians, so if the books are closed, that means there's currently no opening for another made man in the family. If the books are open, then this signifies that the family is looking to promote to made man status. Boss, Don, Chairman The head honcho, the man behind the curtain in charge of an entire family or union of families. This guy that has the ultimate say in the mafia operation and calls literally all the shots. He can make you a made man with a word, or a dead one with less. Capo This is a made man who leads the crew or outfit, the captain of the team if you will, though a family can have multiple crews and thus multiple capos. Clip When somebody offends the mafia, gets in the way, or has turned rat, that individual gets clipped. This means to murder someone. But other terms such as whack, hit, pop, burn, ice, and put a contract out also mean the same things. This is one piece of mafia slang you don't want aimed your way. Code of Silence The unwritten code that underlies all of mafia culture. This is the no ratting clause in your membership into the mob. The code is binding unto the pain of death and dictates that under no circumstances are you to reveal anything about the mob operations to law enforcement, especially not in the hopes of winning a reduced sentence. In modern days, the code seems to be in tatters given all the mafiosos that have turned state's evidence. Still, talking family business outside the family can still get you clipped for breaking the code. Confirm. This is the day you've been waiting for, when you're no longer a guy with connections or an associate, you're finally a made man. To confirm means to formally bring a new member into the family, and usually is accompanied by an elaborate ritual. Cosa Nostra 
the original name for the mob. This means our thing in Italian. Crew One step under a capo. The crew or soldiers are the associates or made men under a capo's command. Crews can be shuffled around or improvised for certain jobs, but much like military operations, crews that work well together often stay together. Sometimes crews can even be hired out or traded to other organized crime groups, most likely because of a specialized set of skills that the crew may have, such as being master safe crackers or in the modern world, computer whizzes. Cugine. This is the lowest ladder on the rank and is the term for a very young soldier who's starting on his long journey to get made. Eat alone a term used to describe someone who is overly greedy or who likes to keep to themselves. A non-generous boss can be described as eating alone as he refuses to share the spoils. Such a boss likely won't last long. Family An organized crime clan such as the Genovese, Gotis, or Sopranos. While many members of a family may actually be a family, many more are made men pulled from the outside of any actual bloodline. Once a member of a family, though, you're expected to behave as if the family is actual blood and flesh family, often even more important than your real family. Forget about it. A piece of slang used with numerous different contexts depending on how and where it's used. The term can be used in agreement, such as saying, This ice cream's incredible, forget about it. Or it can be used in a disagreement, such as, This ice cream's incredible, forget about it. It can also, however, be used as an exclamation of excitement when something is very good or incredible, such as, Geely starring Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck is an incredible film, forget about it. However, it can also be used to tell someone to go to hell, such as, You want me to watch Geely starring Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck? With you? Forget about it. Garbage business A euphemism for organized crime. When you're part of the mob, it's probably best not to publicly disclose that information, thus you might refer to the mob's activities as garbage business while in public. Guma A mafia mistress A woman who's not a family member's wife but still has emotional or sexual relations with that member. This used to be greatly looked down upon in the early days of the mob, even seen as a crime against the family's honor, but in modern times is largely ignored. Heavy to be armed, or an individual that is well armed or known for great violence. If you're about to engage in a war, for example, you may discuss sending out teams of heavies to attack your enemy. Hit To murder or whack someone. A hit will often be carried out by one or more heavies. Juice The interest paid to a loan shark for the actual loan itself. These loans tend to be extremely high interest, designed to give an extraordinary return to the lender. This is why it's common knowledge that you never want to get into debt with the mob. Lamb to go into hiding, either on the run from authorities or after a big high-profile operation. Made Man A full-blown member of the family, made men used to be known as untouchables because any harm befalling them would incur the wrath of the entire family. Today that's largely not the case anymore. However, being a made man does come with a great deal of special privileges and respect, including the chance to move into a really lucrative cut of the business. Mock Execution Sometimes you just need to put the fear of death into someone and not outright kill them. Mock execution means to whip someone into shape by frightening them and can be useful to correct bad behavior or make a very strong point without resorting to outright murder. The next step for a repeat offender is indubitably going to be a real execution. Message Job This is the act of performing a ritualized execution of sorts. Typically, this means shooting a victim in such a way that it delivers a recognizable message to that victim's own crew or family, such as shooting someone through the eye or mouth. Today, this can be any way of killing someone that sends a very clear, specific message. Mobbed up To be connected to the mob in some respect, not necessarily just being a made man. Being family to a made man or having a good friend with mafia connections can mean being mobbed up. Points Your share of any income or result of a job. The more senior you are, the more points you get, with each point being a single percentage point of the total take. For example, if you have 16 points, that means your cut at the end of a job or income from any outgoing revenues is 16%. Hollywood screenwriters often work in a similar fashion, often but not always the case with less bloodshed involved. Spring Cleaning The act of cleaning up a crime scene to get rid of evidence. This can refer to everything from hiding or disposing of a body to covering up someone's tracks in a ransomware cyber attack. Paying Tribute Giving up part of your income to the boss, as done, every operation any mafioso in the family undertakes has to pay tribute, and any unsanctioned off-the-books business is very much frowned upon. Sometimes it can even mean death. The Don always gets his cut. Period. Shakedown A term with two meanings, shakedown can either refer to the act of extorting or blackmailing a victim, or of instilling fear in order to make a victim more compliant. You may shake down a local storekeeper for protection money, or you might shake down some junior politician looking to make a name for himself by going after your family. Shylock Business This is mafia activity dedicated to loan sharking, one of its most profitable ventures. Through the Mouth 
a killing executed in such a way as to indicate an individual was a rat. Typically, this means being shot through the mouth. Now, click one of these videos before we break your fingers. Watch What Does the Mafia Even Do Anymore? Or click this other video, Mamma Mia Pasta Rigatoni.